ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ सेवन ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन ओनली बाई रिमेंबरिंग दी फादर एक्यूरेटली विल योर सेंस बी अब्जॉल्व यू सोल्स विल बिकम प्योर फ्रॉम इम प्योर दी नंबर वन सब्जेक्ट इज रिमेंबरेंस question what request do human beings make and how does the father fulfill that request answer people make a request to the father o oh god the father liberate us from committing sin o oh merciful baba have mercy on us having her everyone's request baba himself comes and shows everyone the way to become liberated from committing sin He said children remember me there is no benefit in simply singing the father's praise you don't need to praise his divine activity you have to study raj yoga and become those whose characters are divine song the lord of innocence is unique om shanti whose praise did you hear the one who reforms that which has been spoiled he is the highest on high one who speaks the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end of the world whenever someone comes here to understand the first thing to explain is god is praised as the highest on high his name is the highest his place of residence is the highest It is mentioned in the Granth too that the name of God is the highest, and that His abode is also the highest. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is the one who resides in the highest place. That is the incorporeal world, where the incorporeal Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, resides. Then below that are the subtle and corporeal worlds. So first of all, give His introduction. the supreme father the supreme soul is the truth he is the creator and then comes his creation there is the highest on high the seed then below him there are brahma vishnu and shankar the residents of the subtle region there are the creation and the creator is above everyone that creator is the father all the rest are his creation all are children of the one supreme father the supreme soul therefore all of us souls are brothers the supreme father resides in the supreme abode brackets param dham he is called the supreme soul there are many physical fathers first of all give the introduction of the spiritual father all are his creation you also have to draw their attention to the pictures first there is the highest on high supreme father the supreme soul the one known as the living seed of the human world tree he is the truth the living being and the embodiment of bliss he is the truth that is the one who speaks the truth souls too are true they don't burn or die the children of the tr- the children of the truth must also be true you were true deities to begin with the true baba is the one who established the land of truth it is not that the supreme father the supreme soul establishes a land of falsehood no bharat was the land of truth and it then became a land of falsehood the supreme father the supreme soul is the truth the one who makes everyone impure cannot be called the truth all the rest are false maya ravan the five vices make souls false rama is truth and ravan is false it is ravan that makes bharat false the whole story is based on bharat you have to explain that bharat was heaven and that it has now become hell the father is called the creator of heaven the one who brings about heaven It is Bharat that is praised. He tells you the knowledge of the beginning, the middle, and the end of the world, through which you become knowers of the three aspects of time. 
This is known as the cycle of self-realization. You souls understand that you are once again claiming your inheritance from the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. It has also been remembered that souls and the Supreme Soul were separated for a long period of time. That meeting right now is very beautiful and auspicious. First of all, give the Father's introduction. Saying that the Father, the Creator is omnipresent doesn't prove that we are all His children. The children wouldn't say that they are all the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. With the idea of omnipresence, neither can they have love for the Father nor can their intellects have yoga with Him. The ancient yoga of Bharat is famous. In fact, your intellects have to be linked in yoga to the Father. If He were omnipresent, then with whom would you have yoga? Would you have yoga with yourselves? There is no meaning in that. Here you understand the meaning of everything. The Father Himself tells you. By having yoga with me, your sins will be absolved. Sinful actions continue to take place. You will reach your complete karma this days. At the end, the results will be given when the time of knowledge has ended. In schools too, some may be clever in one subject and others in another subject. The subject of remembrance is easy. The father is remembered. By remembering the father, the soul becomes good, the vessel becomes clean. Souls that have become impure continue to become pure. The highest on high father comes and teaches you souls in order to enable you to claim the highest on high status. You change from humans into deities. You understand that the eternal original deity religion definitely did exist. They should not be called Hindus. They changed the name of Bharat to Hindustan. When there was the pure original eternal deity religion, it was called paradise, that is heaven. That is the golden age and it is called the new world. The father is the one who creates it. He is in Karpurya. Everyone says, O oh God, the Father. He resides in the highest place. Brahma, Vishnu and Sankar have subtle bodies. That is called the subtle reason and the other is land of peace, the world of silence. This is a physical world. Therefore, first of all get anyone who comes to fill in a form. Who is the father of souls? Only, only God can be called the highest on high. Sages and holy men etc. all pray. Praying can also be called making requests. O oh God, the Father, we request you to incinerate our sins. O oh merciful Baba, have mercy. They call out in this way. Not everyone has mercy. It is only the one Father who has mercy for all. They call themselves Sarvodaya, brackets one who has mercy for all. Now, what do they do? How many do they have mercy for? That too is fixed in the drama. You can compare that to all the things that are happening now. These aspects are not mentioned in the Gita or Bhagavad. The Gita has knowledge. However, there is no need for stories of anyone's activity, etc. Do students sing the praise of their teacher's activities? There is no benefit in sitting and singing a teacher's praise. You do not receive anything by simply singing the praise of the Father, that He is the ocean of knowledge, the ocean of happiness. You children now understand that Baba teaches you Raj Yoga and makes you into knowers of the three aspects of time. That is, he gives you the knowledge of the three aspects of time and the three worlds. Therefore, you are called master lords of the three worlds. You are also called knowers of the three aspects of time. We definitely become the lords who know the three worlds. This is Raja Yoga. We are becoming emperors. The father is the one who makes us that. 
ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಆರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಹೂ ದೇ ವರ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ದಿ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಏಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜ್ಯೂಸ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ಡು ಯು ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಂಕರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ ದಿ ಫೇತ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಡೇಟಿ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ ವೆನ್ ಡಿಡ್ ದಿ ರಿಸೀವ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಲೇಜ್ ದಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಸೀಸ್ ಐ ಕಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಐಟ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಫ್ಲುಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಏಜ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ನಾಲೇಜ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆಫಿನಿಟಿ ಆಟ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಏಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಾಲೇಜ್ ವೈಲ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಬಾಬಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆಫಿನಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆಫಿನಿಟಿ ಯುವರ್ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹೌ ವೆಲ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಡೇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ವರ್ ದಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜ್ಯುವೆಲ್ರಿ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೇ ವರ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ದಿ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ರಿಕಗ್ನೈಸ್ ದಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಟಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ನೋ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸಪಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡ್ರಾಮಾ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಾರ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ದಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸಸ್ you also have reasons of how the palaces came into existence we are the ones who built them it is not that they went beneath the sea and that they will now emerge from there no this cycle of the drama continues to turn they think that ravan's lanka and the golden dwarka were submerged and will emerge again however it is not like that you are now becoming the masters of dwarka you were so prosperous you had everything wealth and property all of that has now disappeared it was all taken away the same thing will happen again first of all give the father's introduction and then explain the secrets of how the cycle turns it is the father who establishes the golden age Baba now sits here personally and tells you remember me it is through this fire of remembrance that you become pure from impure there is no other way it is in this fire of yoga that you souls become pure from impure the purifier father comes and establishes the pure world so why do you then say that the ganges is the purifier to do tapasya penance and bathe in the ganges etc all are paraphernalia of the path of devotion the path of devotion was unadulterated to begin with and it then became it then became adulterated it took half a cycle for it to become adulterated from 16 celestial degrees it decreased to 14 celestial degrees and the decrease continued to decrease the father the ocean of knowledge explains this brahma vishnu and sankar cannot be called the ocean of knowledge the seed of the human world tree by your saying supreme father your intellects are drawn to brahma vishnu or sankar when souls experience sorrow they remember the father the
there is no sorrow in the golden age and so there is no need there to remember baba according to the drama baba will return home only after giving us our inheritance of happiness when people grow old they go into this stage of retirement and adopt a guru here the father himself comes and becomes your sadguru he says i will take you all back home with me no one else can say this no one else can take you back with him everyone definitely has to take rebirth and play a part i do not take birth again and again if i too were to take birth again and again i would become tamo pradhan it is the soul state become impure alloy is mixed into souls the term golden age and silver age are used now it is definitely now the iron age it is now the confluence therefore the father definitely has to come it is the father's task to transform the old world and make it new the father is the purifier that is the one who transforms the world he is not the creator of the world but the one who transforms it by his being called the creator human beings think that a huge annihilation takes place the word purifier is accurate sages sing o purifier sita of rama they never sing the ganges as the purifier by your saying purifier their intellects are drawn to the supreme soul the ganges is not the purifier that is just water and it also exists there however everything there is satu pradhan the ganges is also satu pradhan here it is tamo pradhan and it creates floods and drones villages etc the brahmaputra river drones so many villages this is a land of sorrow you will not experience sorrow in the golden age there these rivers will follow their course accurately according to the law of nature here they leave their course and flow here there and everywhere because the five elements of nature are satu pradhan there water never causes sorrow here even water causes sorrow first of all you have to understand who gives the happiness of heaven surely it must be the father it is now hell baba has come you are the children of prajapita brahma brahma kumars and kumaris the new world can only be created when prajapita brahma exists it is said that humans were changed into deities who changed them the supreme father the supreme soul sri krishna himself was a deity only the father comes and changes humans into deities it is now that you know this previously you just used to sing the praise of human beings being changed into deities you didn't know who created the golden age or who the creator was or how the uh, golden age it world changed into the iron age it world you children have understood that this is a huge stage under the element of the sky the plays performed on it an open stage is needed light is always light is also needed when human beings are playing their parts therefore the sun and the moon serve you in this way the stars also shine when night falls they give light that is happiness this is why people say deity sun and deity moon they give the happiness of light acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 understand the cycle of the drama accurately and make effort accordingly become as merciful as the father and have mercy for everyone the father is establishing the land of truth therefore remain true to him clean the soul by having remembrance of the father 
blessing, may you be constantly free from any disease of Maya and attain immortal fruit by having the intention of serving. The children who eat the fruit from God, the imperishable fruit, the fruit filled with the sweetness of the love of all relationships, at the confluence age will remain constantly free from the disease of Maya. Other fruits will still be received in the golden age and also in the iron age. But if you don't eat the instant fruit from your intention of serving, that fruit from God now, then you won't be able to eat it throughout the whole cycle. This fruit is the fruit of God's magic and by eating this fruit, iron will not just change into gems but it will change into diamonds. This fruit is the immortal fruit that finishes all obstacles. Slogan Souls who uplift those who defame them and who consider them to be their friends are equal to the Father. Slogan Souls who uplift those who defame them and who consider them to be their friends are equal to the Father. Om Shanti